to be the child genius um, of Australia would be pretty great because you know that you're one of the smartest kids in Australia. It's the grand final of Child Genius 2019. The stakes are very high. In a celebration of academic achievement... I wouldn't consider myself a full-on genius, but uh, I'd consider myself quite close to that. And brilliant young minds. I don't really know who I get my intelligence from, but my dad always says that I get it from Mum. <laughs> and I find that funny. The competition to find Australia's brightest child is now down to the final four. The prospect of winning that trophy is the only thing that's been on my mind for the past three days. Mahesh. Mahesh has the potential, so he has a good chance to make it happen. Callum. I think I can win the competition. If he won it, yeah, it'd be it'd be it'd be the most major thing in my in my life. Karen. If I won, I'd be so happy. I'll be proud of her. I'll be very anxious. And the youngest, Aiden. I really want to win Child Genius because then I get a big trophy in my room. Oh wow, okay. Overseen by Australian Mensa and led by quiz master Dr. Susan Carlin. Is there anything you love more than maths? Mummy. Right answer! On the final day of this extraordinary Perfect. event. Perfect score! I think I'll come first. Callum, is it V or Via? Leave me alone, I'm nervous. Only one child genius will take home the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> After three days of intense competition, the top four remaining children Excited. and their parents are arriving for the grand final to determine who will win Child Genius 2019. Now that I can see the finish line ahead, I want to get to it first. We'd love to take that trophy home for sure. Yeah. Right now, I'm way more focused than I've ever been. But it's getting very tricky to stay calm. I am so excited for this final. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Whatever does happen, everyone's a winner because all of the children throughout the competition have formed special bonds. <laughs> My favourite thing about the competition would have been when I came, I made lots of new friends. I guess we've, like, found other people that are, have similar interests and are a lot like us. So it's easy to bond because everyone else is in the same boat as you, smart children. You're Karen. Deep down, I know that no matter what happens, I will still have those friends, I'll still have that experience. Why is this called Rubik's Revenge? I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. But today, with the child genius title on the line, friends are also rivals. My main competitor would probably be Karen. She is a bit intimidating at times. All the boys, they're going to receive her as Killer Punch. I heard that Karen's nickname in Wagga is Killer. Wait, Mahesh, what did you say how Karen's nickname was? Killer. That is harsh. So all the competitors, well, boys, um, in the finals... Watch I'm out. just going to say, yeah, watch out and... Um, the killer is coming. <laughs> I think because a boy won it last year, it's time for a girl to take the lead. And you do the center point. The grand final has two rounds. In the first round, the four finalists will be tested on their knowledge of the human body. How do you think you'll go in the human body round? Pretty good. Pretty good. 15 out of 15, I think. Me? Me. The two lowest scorers will be eliminated from the competition. The top that? two competitors will progress to a nail-biting head-to-head buzzer round, where they'll be quizzed on the previous rounds of maths, spelling and general knowledge. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I guess we're all just happy to be here, but Mum's about three times as tense as the rest of us combined, so... Yeah, I'm feeling very nervous. <laughs> I'm sure everyone else is, though. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm feeling very confident. I think I've got this in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, when you come to the podium, let the sigh goes off and take a deep breath. 
and do all that, what you have been, whatever you have been doing. Okay, sir. Everyone is dealing with the pressure in their own way. Very happy and excited and a bit nervous, just like any other mum, I would say. I think we're both excited and exhausted. Is that fair, cool? And surprised. <laughs> and surprised. Uh, there's all sorts of emotions happening. I keep saying we never expected to come this far, and this is kind of bonus, and just just want us to enjoy it. And I hope he's gonna enjoy just very one final day. Black, bye. Okay. Welcome to the grand final of Child Genius. Today, our four grand finalists will battle it out to see who will be crowned Child Genius of 2019. Supporting the Child Genius finalists are plenty of familiar faces, as many of the friends they've made along the way have returned to cheer them on. Susan, we're in red today. Yeah. I want to see who wins a trophy. I wish it was me, though. Not really sure, but... If I had to guess, it's really just anyone's game. As always, I have joining me our independent competition adjudicator, Jane Allen from the International Quizzing Association. Welcome, Jane. And also joining us as our expert, we have Professor Nalini Partha, who is the head of the Department of Anatomy at the University of New South Wales. Welcome, Nalini. Thank you, Susan. In this first round, I think it's going to be difficult. They need to overcome their own nerves and the time. It's a complex subject, and a sharp answer is what's going to be required. In the lead-up to the human body round, the four finalists went on an excursion to the anatomy lab at the University of New South Wales in Sydney. Whoa! Whoa. I can't believe we actually get to see this stuff. Oh, this, this is, is awesome. awesome. <laughs> Pull harder. All righty. Welcome to the lab. Like all good scientists, we need to wear lab coats. Yeah, all right, and they should button up nicely at the front. Uh, no, no way, I need mine rolled up. Maybe we should swap. <laughs> so given that the four of you are in the final, it's probably quite fair to say that maybe your brain performs better than some other people? Yeah. Do we agree yeah. with that? Maybe. Do we agree with that? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. And so our brain's large. 20 million billion, billion calculations, calculations per second. That's, how do we know that? We've been stuck researching it. Oh my god, that's that's very impressive. I was pretty impressed. Um, I didn't expect children of their age to know that much. I think these kids will have really bright futures. Uh, if they can already pick up some of the most complex areas of the human body, then you've certainly got a bright future ahead of you. One of the best performing brains in the competition so far has been 12-year-old Mahesh. My key to coming at the top for the first three rounds of competition is that I just keep a cool head. Calculate 4,768. Mahesh's cool, calm composure has helped him break competition records. Plus 4,366. 15,975. Correct. Well done, Mahesh. <laughs> What's kept me going through these rounds is the positivity of my whole family um, and also having so many family members come to watch. Mahesh is from a large and supportive Sri Lankan Tamil community. However, his biggest driver is his dad. He doesn't push himself so much. Um, so that's where I had to sometimes step in. So another 30 minutes, then you are done. Yeah? Yes. All right. But the key ingredient is his mum. Cooking is it's for relaxing. Uh, he can survive with home-cooked food. He doesn't have to depend on anyone if he knows to cook at least basic cooking. This is not basic. This is good. I put my success in this competition down to my mum because she's the one who's always telling me to study. And no matter how much I hate that really Without her, I'd be lost in this competition. Let's have a very big welcome for Mahesh. <laughs> Mahesh's dad, Ravi, is confident Mahesh can take home the trophy today. 
Mahesh he has a very gifted working memory that he can rely on to know that your smartest child in Australia as the winner of child genius would be um the most amazing thing and yeah it would mean so much to win all right mahesh you have 3 minutes to answer 15 questions one point for each correct answer and as usual you're allowed to pass 3 times after that you must attempt to answer to the best of your ability are you ready yes question 1 What is the biggest organ of the human body? The skin. Correct. Besides sweetness, saltiness, sourness and bitterness, your taste buds can detect savouriness, which is also known by what name? Umami. Correct. At the ends, blood vessels branch into tiny veins called what? Venules. Correct. <laughs> I see Mahesh when he take a deep breath to be relaxed all his hard work will get him over the edge When you are cold the hairs on your arms stand up because the muscles under your skin do what contract correct cartilage correct saliva correct trachea correct synesthesia correct Mahesh hasn't put a foot wrong and is on course for a flawless round Mahesh has been impressing us right along the whole journey yes he will win skin cells are mostly made up of what tough protein keratin correct what is the scientific name for the large bone in your upper arm humerus correct follicles correct correct the pulmonary artery correct scapula correct mahesh needs just one more correct answer for a perfect round last question what is the name of the clear thick jelly that most of our eyeball is filled with vitreous humor correct mahesh 15 out of 15 well done I just kept my eyes trained on my relatives which kind of calmed me down a little bit because it felt good to see them and I finished with a perfect score so yeah I'm I think I'm almost guaranteed a place in the final two now Next to the podium is someone who has surprised everyone in the competition Let's welcome Aiden to the lectern 10-year-old Aiden is the youngest of the four finalists I thought that I wouldn't make the finals because you'd expect like some of the older kids would be there. So um, I'm only 10 years old and everyone else is 12 and they're in year 7 at school. Despite his youth, Aiden managed to sail into the finals. Last spelling word Aiden. Electroencephalograph. E L E C T R O E N C E P H A L O G R A P H. Correct. Aidan's taught me a lot about himself and myself actually throughout this competition that I really should have more confidence in in his ability and give him more credit. Making the finals is a big deal for Aidan. My favorite moment in the competition is probably being um on the end of day 3 finding out that I I'm through to the finals and I was so happy there. 11 points Aiden, well done. I got 11. Oh, oh that's good. Well done. Nice. You made me cry. Oh my god. Then I simplify that to 57 minus 1 and a half y equals 50. Aiden's mum Cecilia has little doubt about the origins of Aiden's intelligence. Apparently boys get their intelligence from their mothers. If you don't have a piece of paper Aiden, how would you do it? It's definitely smarter than I am. <laughs> It'll be really hard. I don't really know who I get my intelligence from, but my dad always says that I get it from mum. <laughs> my mum agrees. 
I would have done that way because 58 over 16. Oh. Yeah, you've missed that. You've missed that step, yeah? I think with Aiden now, um, yeah, I've almost reached my limit in what I can help him with. There is one particular strength that sets Aiden apart. I think that for me, studying is relatively easy because I just read it a few times and then it sticks. If all the blood vessels in one human body were... So far, Aiden has progressed through the competition without drawing much attention to himself. Aiden has been sort of flying under everyone's radar in this competition, mine included. He's been the silent achiever. But now he's in the finals. Aiden's ready to challenge for the title. I think if I can get past the human body round, I got a good chance of winning the trophy. Welcome to the grand final, Aiden. Thank you. How are you feeling? Very excited. With only two children going through to the final round and both Karen and Callum still to come, Aiden needs to match Mahesh's perfect round to be safe from instant elimination. Aiden's quite smart and he's quite determined. The fact that he's gone this far and been in a competition, I think he feels that he's up for the challenge. Okay, you ready? Yes. Question one. What is the hardest substance in your body? The enamel. Correct. Beneath the epidermis and the dermis, what is the name of the layer of fat? Hypodermis. Correct. It's quite nerve-wracking watching him because I don't know how he's going to go. Yeah, it's just the emotions of success and disappointment and all happening all at once. Rather like tough elastic bands, what holds together two bones on either side of a joint to stop them from falling apart? Ligaments. Correct. Carbon dioxide. Correct. 32. Correct. Capillaries. Correct. What is the name of the longest bone in the human body? Femur. Correct. Correct. Arterioles. Correct. What name is given to the dangling thread? Cilia. Correct. About how long does it take for a red blood cell to circulate from the heart around the body? 20 seconds. Correct. Aiden's on course to match Mahesh's Correct. perfect score. Correct. Correct. And last question. Pharynx is the scientific name for which part of the body? the main part of the throat. Correct. Aiden, perfect score. Well done. With a perfect score of 15 out of 15, Aiden joins Mahesh at the top of the leaderboard. <laughs> so happy. <gasps> what did you get? 15. Oh, yes, let's go. I got 15 as well. Oh, good job. I got a perfect score and uh, I'm really happy with that. So at the moment, I'm going to be in the finals. If you don't get perfect score, then, you can, then you're out. Yeah, if you don't get a perfect score, you're out now. Yeah. Right now, if Karen or Callum get a perfect score, then there's a three or even four way tiebreaker, which I do not want to happen. It's the Child Genius Grand Final. And the four finalists are battling it out to see who will take home the Child Genius Trophy for 2019. Only the two top competitors will progress to the final buzzer round. Vitreous humour. Correct. Mahesh! Hot favourite Mahesh and the youngest finalist, Aiden, both scored perfect rounds. Callum and Karen must match their perfect scores to force a tiebreaker or face instant elimination. Next to the stage is 12-year-old Callum. Let's welcome Callum to the lectern. <laughs> welcome to the grand final, Callum. Thanks. On his quest to make it to the grand final, Callum has had some close calls. See? Uh, Pass. Uh, uh, My
my journey has been a tough one. Barely getting through, praying, hoping that I would after the scores I pulled. Well done, Callum, four points. But Callum's more determined than ever to do well. Hi. I'm not just fighting this competition for myself anymore. I'm fighting it for Celia. It's OK, Callum. Callum became close friends with fellow West Australian competitor Celia in the early rounds of the competition. 174. 173. Only for Celia to be eliminated in a three-way tiebreaker, which enabled Callum to qualify for the semi-final. Buoyed with a sense of duty to win for Celia, Callum's ambition to excel is stronger than ever. If this was effectively a superhero comic, the, yep, this is where I would show up. And Callum couldn't have asked for a better topic to make him the hero, because human anatomy is his subject. It's very connected to lungs, especially with its oxygen cells. Right. I find the human body very, very interesting. It comes in through here. And then it goes I feel very lucky that the human body is the final round. I don't feel like I'll just scrape in. I feel I have a, high, a very high chance now. And what does the brain do? Everything. Make Everything, It's right? pretty efficient. I love the brain. I want to be a neurosurgeon when I grow up, so oh. this section's my favourite bit. Excellent. Whereabouts on here is the frontal lobe? Right there. Yeah, so the frontal lobe. The brain has always fascinated me. It's so interesting how different minds work. Some people have to take longer to get an answer for, I don't know, certain subject like maths, where sometimes I can just jump ahead and go, how did I get that? Callum's IQ is 145 plus, which puts him in the top 1% of the, the population. With Callum's impressive IQ, Callum's dad, Edward, has high hopes for his son. I'm a very competitive person. I can be disappointed sometimes if Callum does not perform to his full potential. Now he's made the final, Callum's confident the human body round will be his best performance yet. The final is my round. It's, I hate to admit it, it's um, the stuff I'm good at. Callum knows a lot about the human body, which kind of shocked me. If you're interested in something, you definitely do better at it. I'd like to see what he can pull off. And I definitely believe I can get that trophy. I just need to focus. How are you feeling? Uh, actually pretty OK for this round. Good. Well, you want to be a neurosurgeon, so this is probably going to be your favourite round. Yes. Yeah, well, luckily for Callum, this subject matter of the human body has come up in the final. More than ever, this is probably the best round for his confidence and, and you know, what he wants to do. You ready? Yes. OK, Callum, question one. How many bones are there in the typical adult human body? 206. Correct. What is the medical name for the bones found in the fingers? Uh, the phalanges. Correct. What common name is given to the blood vessels that carry blood towards the heart? Veins. Correct. The heart. Correct. Vitamin D. Correct. The kneecap. Correct. The semicircular canals that help you balance send signals from your ears to your brain along which nerve? The vestibular nerve. Correct. Cuticles. Correct. The gluteus maximus. Correct. Correct. With a faultless round so far, Callum's on track to match Mahesh and Aidan's perfect scores and force a tiebreaker. The optic nerve sends signals to which part of the brain that processes the images? The... Pre-optic cortex? The visual cortex. It's very, very hard for a parent to see, in my case, my son not hit the potential that you know he has. In most cases, the nucleus of a human cell contains how many chromosomes? Two? Incorrect. 46 was the answer we were looking for. What is the name of the liquid that surrounds the joints in your body so they move without creaking? Uh... Um... 
Silo Deli. Incorrect. Synovial. Incorrect. Papillae was Papillae. the word we were looking yep. for. Well done, Callum. Ten points. It is what it is. With a score of only 10, Callum is the first to leave the grand final and is disappointed with his performance on his favourite subject. How you doing? OK. G'day, dude. Good work. How's that? All right? You all right? Just got those questions with those things that just mm. would not stick in there, hey? Mm. No matter how hard we try to push them in. Yeah, I didn't Callum experiences everything on a deeper level. It's typical with gifted kids. When he is sad, he is incredibly sad. For Callum, this is much more than just a personal defeat. He was also competing for his friend Celia after beating her in a tiebreaker on day two. If this was just for me at this point, I don't think I would have been as upset but it wasn't for me anymore, and I made a promise and I broke it, so... <laughs> and I'm crying again. Third time this season. Oh, gosh. <sighs> he's done amazingly. Over the last couple of weeks, I'm so proud that he's managed to just apply himself, really, really apply himself, and... and managed to sort of get as much in his head as he can and the things he's learned about himself, so, yeah. This has brought us together because now we've had to study together, stuff that, you know, we had to learn also together, <laughs> whether I liked it or not. It's been phenomenal, phenomenal, so I'm super proud, yeah. Oh, I've got school when I get back. <laughs> I get back and I've only got a couple of days off. <laughs> Aidan and Mahesh are now in a prime position to go through to the final buzzer round. Only a matching perfect score from Karen can force a three-way tiebreaker. But it, but it seems unlikely that Karen's going to get something wrong. That is true. It does seem very true. Unaware Mahesh and Aidan have posted perfect scores... I just want to make it to the last round. Karen is the final competitor in this round. If I win, my mum will float on the clouds. <laughs> And I think my dad will do front flips, even though he can't. <laughs> to be here today, that's what we were aiming for from the start of the competition. Karen's steadfast self-belief has made her a star performer. Jack of clubs and ace of clubs. Perfect score, Karen! <laughs> Your first word will appear on the screen. Now. Only a couple of mistakes in the earlier rounds prevented her from topping the leaderboard. Paraphernalia. Good guess. The word we were looking for was peripheral. I hope she will make it through, but with her overconfidence, she can make silly mistakes and she can be out of the competition like this. I did think that I would make it this far um, because I think I'm a pretty good competitor. Karen thrives on competition. It's helped her accumulate numerous accolades. These are all my awards from, like, church or from school. And Karen has the perfect pedigree to excel in the human body round. Hinge joint. Mum's a doctor, so she's been helping quite a lot. She already knows quite a fair bit about the human body, so it hasn't really been hard work for me to try and study. I see myself in her, but she is a better version of me. <laughs> At her age, I was confident, I was stubborn. I think that's, that's a good thing. This is Karen's one and only chance to make it through to the final buzz around, and she's determined not to blow it. I'm the only girl left in the competition, and I think it's vital that I get the trophy and I definitely want to be the first girl to get the title. Let's welcome Karen to the lectern.
Welcome to the grand final, Karen. Thank you. You were doing this for the girls. You've said it all along. How are you feeling about girl power today? Awesome. <laughs> That's what we want to hear. Are you ready for anatomy? Definitely. Karen's trust in her ability has helped her get to the finals. But is it enough to claim the child genius title? I definitely believe that I could win it. With only two competitors going through to the final buzzer round, Karen is unaware she needs to match Mahesh and Aidan's perfect scores to force a tiebreaker and avoid instant elimination. If one person gets something wrong, they're out. Are you ready for your first question, Karen? Yep. Question one. What is the name for the coloured part of the eye? Iris. Correct. What part of the ear takes its name from the Latin for snail? Cochlea. Correct. I'm a bit nervous and I'm a bit excited for Karen, but I think she will do well. Which bone do scientists think of as the human version of a tail? Coccyx. Correct. A lunula is a crescent-shaped area of light skin at the base of what body part? The nail. Correct. Hinge joints. Correct. Aorta. Correct. Stapes or stirrup. Correct. Faster than ever. What internal tube connects your ears, nose and throat? You stick in. Correct. Trachea. Correct. 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 Periosteum. Correct. Karen's on track for a perfect round. Even. and needs just three more correct answers to force a tiebreaker with Mahesh and Aiden. I like enormous tiebreakers. Correct. I don't want a tiebreaker. I just don't want a tiebreaker. Yeah. Just... To the nearest 10,000, approximately how many genes are in the complete human genome? 30,000. Correct. Last question. When your blood cells form a clot, they are held together by a thread-like substance called what? It's the Child Genius Grand Final and the three remaining competitors are battling it out to see who will be crowned Child Genius Australia for 2019. Only the top two competitors will progress to the final buzzer round. Karen is unaware Mahesh and Aidan have already scored perfect rounds. The daughter of a doctor, she needs just one more correct answer in the human body round to match their scores and force a tiebreaker. When your blood cells form a clot, they are held together by a thread-like substance called what? Pass. Fibrin. Well done, Karen. 14 points. Congratulations. <laughs> Dad, I thought she was going to win. Mahesh and Aidan are yet to find out Karen's score. Yeah, if Karen gets on wrong, she's out, and that would be... That would tragic. be demoralising for her, really. Yeah. She's so confident. She, she's, she's, she's so confident, and she's done so well to get here. She's worked so hard. If yeah. she gets a single one wrong. Karen has no idea Mahesh and Aidan both scored perfect rounds. How'd you go, Karen? 14. Yes! No offence. We both got 15. No. Darn it. Karen's total of 14 is just one point short of matching Mahesh and Aidan's perfect scores. But as the second lowest scorer, it means she joins Callum and is eliminated from the competition. I do feel very sorry for Karen. She was very, very confident in what she was doing. And she's such a hard worker. Um, and she only got one wrong, and yet she still doesn't progress to the final. I'm sorry. 
I'm so nervous. I'm very sorry. Okay. I got it. Good. Yeah, I'm all good. I'm feeling okay. I'm proud that I made it this far, but I wish I could have gone to the trophy. I was so close. Mm. Yeah. Aiden got all of them. The I know. It's not her fault. It's my fault. That's why I'm feeling. I'm feeling guilty. Axel, <laughs> because she relied on me and we missed this part. Um, the highlight was uh, making all the friends and also coming so close to the trophy but just missing out. So I think that was probably the best bit. I'm still above the moon <laughs> with what she gets and that will make her the front flips when you yeah. go back home. We, we because... alone. <laughs> sure, I'm proud, very proud of Karen and what she achieved. I believe she still deserves to have the title of Child Genius of Australia, and she is. She is a genius. So she is a genius. <laughs> The mammoth quest to find the 2019 Child Genius is now down to the final two. So how do you feel about the next round, the final round? There's only the two of you left. Yeah, it's a bit lonely. A bit lonely? You got my hash. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's talking about how I sneaked under the radar and now um, kind of like come out and, uh, and now I can finally try and beat Mahesh. If I can do that, I would be so, so happy. I have absolutely no idea how Aiden managed to sneak under everyone else's radar like that, but yeah, he managed it. And so, yeah, um, I guess he's in this position now and he's got a 50% chance of winning the trophy. I'm trying not to let, I'm trying to not let that happen. Mahesh was entered into the competition by his dad, Ravi. So originally it was my, my idea to put uh, Mahesh on Child Genius. Yeah, don't panic, yeah, just be relaxed and uh, too well. Yeah. It's a good challenge for him that um, to be tested his abilities uh, on a national scale like this. But um, he was not that comfortable when we started talking about it, but now he enjoys it and he wants to go all the way winning the trophy. His mum, Rudrani, has kept Mahesh on track with his study throughout the competition. Everybody wants to win, so that's the icing on the cake, but um, what matters is having a good time and then working hard, um, trying to reach top. My key to coming at the top is that I just keep a cool head. Mahesh obviously is an incredibly strong competitor. He's so calm and that really holds him in good stead because if you can not freak out up there, you're ahead of so many of the other competitors. Aiden was phenomenal in this first round, the anatomy round. Most of the time, I didn't even get to finish my question before he was answering, so Aiden's on fire today. With those two brains combined, who knows what's going to happen in this grand final? I have to beat Mahesh. And then, um, and then if I do, that means I'm the smartest kids in Australia. For this year. Aiden's mum, Cecilia, was keen to test Aiden by entering him into Child Genius. Yes, I am a competitive person. Um, perhaps the ethnic background has something to do with it. Really? <laughs> yeah, we're Asians, we're competitive. <laughs> <laughs> and Aiden was eager to have a go himself. I've put Aiden forward in this Child Genius competition because it was Aiden, actually Aiden's request. He was watching the Child Genius season one last year and he feels that he's up for the challenge so here we are <laughs> Aiden now faces his greatest challenge I'm so nervous right now because I'm on um, Mahesh is two years older than me and he's got a much more of an advantage it is a small advantage to be uh, a few years older than the competition because you understand more as you grow older and it's easy to control yourself. Um, the younger people, when they're beginning to get low scores, they start panicking, but older people, we know how to handle it. 12-year-old Mahesh might have age on his side, 
But Aidan has strengths of his own. He has photographic memory. He doesn't really study much. Like last night, he had probably an hour. He didn't study. What? If Aidan didn't study much and got 15 out of 15 on this round, he must have some kind of photographic memory of some sort because there is no way that if I had just gone through it twice, I would not have remembered. Aidan's photographic memory is not all Mahesh needs to contend with in this next title-deciding round. This final round with Mahesh and Aidan is going to be probably the most exciting of the competition because for the first time we'll have Mahesh and Aidan up on stage together with buzzers. Now it's all about speed. So not only do you have to be smart and confident, you have to be quick. I am a bit worried about how fast Aidan is because, yeah, he's shown that he's capable of uh, answering quickly. <laughs> and so, yeah, it could be yeah. an issue. But, but uh, Mahesh, yeah. Mahesh, don't worry. Pressing the buzzer is one thing and then get, giving the right answer, right spelling, right math mathematical answer is another thing. So um, it's not all about pressing who pressed it first. Was Aidan fast answering? Um, yeah, he was um, quickly jumping on to the answers before oh, Susan was uh, finishing the question. But whereas that's not your style, you wait till the full question and then give the answer. Yeah, I might, I might have to change that now. Let's go down. Yeah. The moment and you can go straight from there too. Cool, calm and confident are basically my three C's now because they've taken me through this competition and so uh, I want to use them in the final too. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, if I can hold my nerve, I, I think I've got a good chance in get, winning that huge trophy. Good luck, Mr. Tracy. Okay, bye bye. Oh, my God. The time has come for Mahesh and Aidan to go head to head in the final buzzer round for the title of Child Genius Australia 2019. <laughs> it's the Child Genius 2019 Grand Final. From the 16 children selected to compete, the final two are about to battle it out for the title. So nerve-wracking. Really? Oh, OK. 12-year-old hot favourite Mahesh is up against the surprise package in the competition, 10-year-old Aidan. And today, all the friends they've made along the way have returned to cheer them on. Seven gruelling rounds of competition. Please, let's have a huge round of applause for our remaining two finalists, Mahesh and Aidan. Congratulations both of you on reaching the final. The two of you have systematically knocked everyone else out of the competition. You are both fierce competitors and I can't wait to see which of you will be taking home the title of Child Genius 2019. There's loads of Chinese and Indian people, that is weird. That's like all my relatives, mate. Now, Mahesh and Aidan, the final two, will go head to head in a quick fire buzzer round overseen by Teresa Wong of Australian Mensa. Mensa is associated with Child Genius as a platform for showcasing bright children. It's especially important because intelligence forms the leaders of tomorrow. The final round will consist of questions on maths, spelling, and general knowledge. The first to 10 points will be the competition winner. Fingers on buzzers. Aidan's weaknesses will be nerves. He can sometimes get overcome. If he can keep that at bay, I think he could do quite well. Big audience, Mahesh is quite comfortable. He's not a person to be worried about being in public, so 
he should be okay. Question one. The EU flag has how many yellow stars? Aiden. Yeah, 12 stars. Correct. <sighs> Calculate 1,263 plus 127 plus 52 minus 96. Uh, Mahesh? 1,346. Correct. Spell portmanteau. Uh, Aiden. P-O-R-T-M-A-N-T-E-A-U. Correct. What is the name for the minute blocks of colour that make up a digital photograph? Uh, Mahesh. Diodes. Incorrect. Oh, no. Aidan, would you like to answer? Pixels. Correct. <sighs> I don't think Aiden's aware of his own ability, but I think he knows he's quite capable and that gives him a little bit of confidence. Expressed as a fraction in its simplest form, what is 75% of three quarters? Uh, Mahesh. Hang on a second. Time's up. Aiden, would you like to answer? Mm, I'll pass. The correct answer was 9 over 16. <sighs> Watching this competition from the audience is um, quite amazing to see how your son dealing with the stress. Mahesh. The Pyrenees Mountains. Correct. Uh, Aiden. 1,800. Correct. Spell. Agathocacological. Uh, Mahesh. A-G-A-T-H-O-K-A-K-O-L-O-G-I-C-A-L. Correct. Which insect is the only one that can turn its head to look directly uh, behind? Aiden. Praying mantis. Correct. Uh, Mahesh. 96. Correct. Spell. Cnidarian. Uh, Mahesh. C N I D A. R-I-A-N, Nidarian. Correct. Five, five. Which European country's flag has a blue background with a yellow cross that is slightly off-centre? Uh... Aiden. Sweden. Correct. Uh... Mahesh. 119. Correct. Stands right. The scores are now tied at six each. Next question. Oh, stakes high. Which horn that looks and functions like a small trumpet? Uh, Mahesh. Cornet. Correct. Calculate 3,250 multiplied by three. Then subtract 1,550 and finally, add 27. Uh, Mahesh. 8,227. Correct. Uh. Spell quiescence. Uh. Mahesh. Q U I E S C E N C E. Quiescence. Correct. 
the scores are now Aiden on six and Mahesh on nine. So Mahesh, if you get the next answer correct, you will be crowned child genius of 2019. The crab-eating fox, or common Zorro, is native to which of the... South America. Correct. Share $24.50 equally between seven people. Aiden. $3.70 each. Incorrect. Mahesh, would you like to answer? Yes. Oh, no. $3.50 each. Mahesh, you said $3.50. That is... <laughs> Correct. Congratulations to both of you. And first up, this wonderful medal to our wonderful runner-up. Congratulations. A huge round of applause for Aiden. The kind of speechless is beyond my imagination that you actually come this far. Academic achievement can be celebrated and you should be really proud of what you can do. And look how far you've come, Aiden. But of course, there can only be one winner. So let's have a huge round of applause for our 2019 Child Genius winner, Mahesh. First of all, I'd like to congratulate Aiden because he is two years younger than mm -hmm. um, everyone else who made the final. And um, I'd just like to commend him on a really great job. And also a big thank you to my parents and relatives, who there are about a million out there. <laughs> um, and um, biggest thanks to mum, who was always one, the one who forced me to study. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for making me proud. Yeah. It feels better than anything I've ever experienced to have done my parents proud. It's so great to know that my parents are more proud of me than ever before. Along with making his parents proud, Mahesh, like many of the other children, has gained so much more from Child Genius. The biggest reward that I've got is the social experience. I've met so many kids during the auditions, during this competition, and I'm sure I'll keep these friendships. One of the most important parts of Child Genius is that it shines a light on the bright children that we have in this country. It must be about two kilos. In not just showing us that these children exist, but celebrating them. You just fit inside it. <laughs> but another perhaps equally important part is meeting other like-minded children. Suddenly in this competition, they meet a lot of other brilliant minds just like them. Finally, they've found their tribe. 